All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Night in the Woods. Now, last time, we went to a party with B in a city like two hours away almost, or one and a half, because she said it was 90 minutes, so, and 90 minutes definitely isn't two hours, that's one and a half hours. Now, uh, one of the things I want to do at the beginning of this video is uh, apologize for how the dailies have been uploaded recently, and, um, you know, I get off work at six, and I say that, I, may. Oh, that's Aunt Mall Cop. May, get down from those power lines. Power lines. Power lines. <laughs> oh, I'm in trouble now. Oh, God. What do you want? Hello to you, too, May. Well, I wanted to let you know. We ran on tests on that army guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, thought you'd be interested, is all. Definitely. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man in medium build. He was dead, and he was dead when it was removed. Whoa. That means... It doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You'd always like detective stories when you were a kid. Okay, yeah. Thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? What's no ghost involved with this? Whatever, the, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. Nobody believes me. I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff is going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, man. What the hell? Did you see that jump? That was so weird. What if we went back up on the power lines? Would she stop us? Anyway, um, you know, I get off work at six, and I said I really don't want to talk to Selmers anymore. I kind of don't like talking to her. But um, Mr. Chekovitz, 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 he shouldn't be up here right now, right? Yeah, he's not okay. But I get off work at six, and then I try to upload because you know I'll render the videos up before I go to work. And then I try to upload them. Well, I start rendering the videos before I go to work. And I leave my computer on while I'm at work. And then I come back home. And then I set the videos up to um, to to upload. And sometimes the internet will be good. And sometimes it will be super shitty. So, it honestly, if the daily is going up on time. All depends on... Uh, well, I guess it all depends on when I play the daily. And when I'm done. Uh, like when I finish a recording session. You know, after I finish recording the daily. Maybe I should just... Alright. But anyway, uh, maybe I should just... Uh, we need to talk... I want to talk to Bruce back here real quick first, but... um, What am I saying? Maybe I should play the daily and then immediately render it and upload it. So, they're always up on time. Instead of... Instead of playing the daily and then playing some more and then, you know, setting up the video to render and then leaving shortly after I do that. So, maybe that's a plan. Good job, me. Oh, thank you, me. I couldn't have thought of that myself. Oh, yeah, well, you, you know, you're welcome, dude. You didn't, you didn't need me. We got statues of stern dudes for miles here in Possum Springs. All right, I don't know who this guy is. I, I think they said something about him breathing fire. Anyway, um, so we still need to go to the graveyard with B, probably to visit her mother. Oh, it's Pastor K. Where's Bruce? What are where Bruce has got to? Beats me. He's kind of transi transient, though, right? I mean, he wasn't, like, renting the woods. No. No, he wasn't. God damn this world. What does that mean? Why is she saying, God damn this world? Aren't you a pastor? Shouldn't you love the world or something? I don't like how the... I could have... Were those, were those markings here on the rock before? I could have sworn I never saw them. But I hate how the music just uh just stops playing when you go over to the ledge i feel like something is gonna happen there at some point bye bye pastor k mom should be at uh at the church it's it's funny how you leave uh how you leave the house and and your mom is there like reading the newspaper and then you walk down the street and then you go into the the church and mom is there it's like she it's like she drove super fast or like we leave the house at the same time or something Wouldn't it be fucked up if we found the last pentagram in here? See, you can't resist coming here. That's God calling you. Oh, jeez. I'm betting not. God's patient, hun. Like nature. That is such a creechy... Creechy! That is such a creepy statement. I find it comforting. I got this creeping dread thing going on. So just ignore me. Okay, hun. Can I do anything? Not really. Love you. What is it? 
I don't know. Purposely committing this scene to memory. Taking a brain photo. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. Like when I was a kid. Your dad was great with the games when you to keep you quiet in the car. He sure was. I still do it now. Snap. Got your picture. Snap, snap. Ch -ch. Got yours too. Love you, sweetie. You too, mom. Alrighty, so... Now, we should uh, actually go inside the church, see what's going on here. And you know what? I have it plugged in my laptop. But the game seems to be running fine, and hopefully it's recording fine as well. So you know what? I'm just going to do that now. Just do that now. And make sure... I want to be 100% sure everything's going to go fine. Because I did record the daily earlier, and it fucking... Like, the first 12 minutes of audio was out. So... Then I, then I had to, like, record over that and do my own voiceover. Alright, so now, hopefully we're going to go to the graveyard with B. Because I'm really trying to find out more about this ghost man. But you know what? I really like how the game have, how the game has been going so far. Like, before it was kind of, like, boring, you know, everyday stuff. And now it's, like, more more interesting, going, more interesting things going on. I'm not saying that the game was boring, but I'm just saying that, you know... It, it, it was just, it was just May, May's life, you know, just her chilling. Okay, please. I could have swore I've made it up on, on that ledge before. I wonder where the last pentagram is. I mean, the, the second pentagram we got was, was from like a, was in an area where, um, was in an area where I assumed, uh, you were, you were supposed to find at least one pentagram or something. Because, uh, you had to talk to that girl, I'm pretty sure, to, like, even get on with the story. Unless you could have just stayed there dan- Whoa. What's- Oh, okay, these are the rats. I thought one of them was dead or something. The- the second one, or the one on the left was just sitting on the ground. Look at all these rats in here. Have these- have these always been here? Are they all gone, or what? My babies have left the nest! Yeah, okay, so, we got the achievement for the rats. So I just wanted- I just wanted to make sure everything in here was still going- was still going fine. Like, I didn't want to- I didn't want to just leave here and then have there be like a pentagram or something in here. So, you know, maybe our mouse friend up over on the other roof has some uh, has something interesting to do, or has something to do with the pentagram, or maybe we'll just find the last pentagram somewhere. Uh oh yeah, we gotta come around here. I was like, how do we get to her in the first place? Yeah. Okay. Oh hey, look, it's a man. Hey. Hello. I'm May. Hello, May. I'm Salim. Are you a busker? Are you busking? What's busking? I don't know. I think it's when you play outside and people give you money. Are you going to give me money? No. Then I'm not busking. Cool. I just met someone else playing by themselves. Really? Yeah, across town in the abandoned building by the click clack. They had one of those big saxophones. Hmm. I just thought it was an interesting coincidence. Small town. So maybe, uh, maybe one day we'll find them playing together. Hello, friend. You okay? Yeah. I'm like only half here right now. I'm just tired. Are you sick or something? I don't even know anymore. You should get some cold medicine. And some crackers and ginger ale. Ginger ale sounds really good right now. And lay in bed and watch bad movies. Thanks for the advice, Doc. Or, I feel like that won't fix this one. Let's uh, be a little sarcastic. Don't mention it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. May, you okay? Hmm, hmm, hmm. May! Ah, oh, sorry. Spaced out for a sec there. You should like see a doctor I'll get around to it thanks uh no problem all right well I'll probably see you later probably nothing certain I guess okay see ya Rip. all right so that's the end of that can we do anything out here I don't think so oh nuke possum springs make what if that's like foreshadowing or something? That would be horrible foreshadowing. 
Could you imagine getting nuked? Like, there are some people who survived the nuking, like, in, in Japan during World War II. I wouldn't even... I wouldn't even want to, like, survive one of those, dude. It's fucking vaporized me instantly. I'd be straight up fine with that. So, I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. I'm so tired. You wanna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. We go for this park trip? No, or yeah, no. No, nah, Angus, we're saving you for last, dude. I like you. I like you the most. Angus seems like a cool guy. There's probably more to him than we think. And I'm sure Gregor knows about it. So maybe this, this is the game telling us, all right, hey, you can do one of the, uh, another one of the things now. Where, did we, oh, we passed the pickaxe, dude. That was my whole purpose of coming down here. We passed it. I'm not trying to get on the roof because we already did the thing on the roof. Unless we're supposed to do this in an order and we're supposed to go with B last. Music's good. Uh, oh, how didn't, even, how didn't I notice that the pickaxe is right here? I went right past it, literally. Jeez. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Tired. Had a headache for days. You should, like, go home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to, like, veg out pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Ghost? Or bad? Uh, let's see what she means by that. Sorry. Ghost. Thanks. And I feel bad. I mean, since it happens, I haven't... Since it, since it happened, I haven't... I don't feel rested in the morning. And I feel like someone else is in my head. And my skull's going to explode. So yeah, not good then. Nope. Hmm. Did you still want to check out the graveyard? Yeah, I guess we did. Actually, yeah, let's do it. Maybe I should have... I should have stopped by uh, the Snack Falcon, but I decided not to for some reason. And here we are. Hopefully we don't fuck up uh, B seeing her mom. Foggy. Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. It gets spooky. I get really sad because it's not year round. Hey B? Yep. Sorry again about last night. Ah, uh, that's cool. Who needs a social life? This is social. It sure is. Uh, I know... I, I, I recognize this scene, and this... I probably recognize this because this is what I used for, uh... For, to get the background color for my, um... That kind of looks like the, like the janitor. Well, there's the statue. Ooh! Also spooky. I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but, like... Whatever. So we wait here? Yeah. And a ghost shows up. This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. Can we dance? I like dancing. <laughs> you know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, things like mom, mom, monumentally screwed right now. Things are like monumentally screwed right now. And no one in power gives a shit. Or they're actively making it worse. Out of spite or profit. Whoa! Jeez. I meant like a skeleton or something. Oh right, sorry. Yeah, those are those are adult scary things. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I know something. I say something and you make it spookier. Alright. How about this? A skeleton in your hallway at night. Or a skeleton outside your window. Yeah, uh, ooh, actually. Which would be spookier? I guess out outside your window. Whenever, all right. So here's I I, I just want to put the throw this out there. Whenever I have my my windows open up for the day, and I go to close them at night because I always forget to close them like at like you know noon or something. Not noon, like in the evening. I'm always afraid that like while I'm closing my window, something's gonna pop up at me or something. So uh, this I can relate to this one. A regular stranger person outside your window. He's smiling, or. He's frowning. I, I, I smile, smiling would be better. And he's from the bank. 
Oh, come on. He's here to tell you they're going to take your house. This is just depressing. And he's a zombie. Okay, fine. That works. Zombie bank guy. All the things you are afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff is like really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. What were, we, what were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something. This is dumb. Let's go. What was I saying? Oh yes, I pulled the uh I pulled the color for the background of my thumbnails from uh from something like this. And I thought B was a guy for some reason. Okay, so I'm gonna go visit my mom. Yeah. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally, no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying when I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up here then. Let's check out our grave or three. Can we not follow B? I don't want to follow B. She's trying to go visit her mom, like, personally. Dude, I couldn't even imagine, like, what life would be like if my mom died. And I guess that's because, you know, she's been here all my life. So, just, like, imagining her not being here would be just weird. Hey. Hey. Is this... Yep. Oh. Yep. Oh. Right, we can move. I thought, I thought it was just another awkward silence thing. So may, we, I guess we weren't supposed to come down here. I wish we could move a little bit faster. Because I made the fucking mistake of coming down here. Oh, I didn't mean to push that either. Oh, yes. We got some more pictures. So there's the there's the pentagram girl on the left. And then here's Mayday and BB. Stuck together, don't suck together. And that's it. I don't think we got any more, uh, any more drawings. But we are missing some pages. Which makes me makes me anxious because I like to I like to complete things and not completing that makes me kind of upset well not upset oh well, I guess you could say upset but it's not like I'm, I'm angry upset Rose age 95 years hmm standard headstone nothing fancy clearly religious can't really be sad about this or 95 years wow yeah when she was born the most high-tech thing was horses she had to, like, look out the window to see a horse. And now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Like, any horse you could think of. She saw us from horses to the internet, to internet horses. Decent run. Dude, I don't even know when I'm gonna die, but I, like, I can't imagine technology taken by flu, 14 years old. Holy shit. Catherine Fish. Oh, dang. Lives, like, 14 years. That's not enough time, or... Poor family. Yeah, that's... Not enough time, actually, because if you die while you're in school, that's like the worst punishment ever. You don't, you don't even get to like explore, like you don't, you don't get to like live your life. You're just stuck in school doing homework and shit. It's stupid. And she was in high school too, so probably never said anything anyone can understand. You should get off at least one good sentence in life. So, I think we're looking for a gravestone with the name Jeremy on it. Or some, some, some kid. There was some, there was something about a, a kid named Jeremy on, on the computer thing back in the library. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. He crashed his bike. Right. He, bah. he crashed his bike. He was hit by a bike. Or he loved his bike. He loved it so hard, he smooched it. So right. Jeez, B. How long does it take to visit a mom? TikTok, Beatrice. We got places to be. Well, I mean... Holy crap, I am a jerk. Yeah. I would think that as well. Is there anything else we can see? There might be. I don't know. Yeah, no. Okay, that's the end of the, that's the, end of the line. So, now we gotta walk all the way back to B. I'm afraid I'm gonna see that statue move or something. We're gonna we're gonna find the the silhouette guy the oh hey B, and then he's gonna end up being like harmless like the hash slinging slasher from SpongeBob. All he wanted was a job, man. They were freaking freaking out about him. 
Hey. Uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that? You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yes. That's what was that's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. So I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's gonna just gonna like cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard! They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And like, voices. Huh, that's uh... Spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah, sure. Here we go, finally we can, we can go up here. I've been trying to go up on this hill for the longest fucking time. If it's our guy, I'm gonna freak out, dude. Not, not literally, but... Oh, it's, it's dark up here. I don't like this. Who goes there? <gasps> it's the kids! Oh, weary travelers. You seek answers among the dead, but they shall give you none. Who the hell are you? Mere messengers. Observers. Meddlers. Teens. They're weird teens. Oh. Alright, well... We are the keepers of the gates. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We govern who shall pass, and who shall remain. Alright, well... Answer us these questions. Truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead? Okay, 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 fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question. Have you ever done it? What? <laughs> yeah, you can just call it sex for grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer! Uh, I don't think May has, so I'm gonna say... Never got around to it. And you? Yeah. Ew, gross. What? When? Summer before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This is when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this happen with? Ah, oh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. What? Math camp? What is math camp? You go and do like math stuff. And camp stuff. And apparently have lots of sex. It wasn't good. Top notch math though. <laughs> this is boring. Next question. Jeez, fine. Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah. Don't you want to ask something uh, sp like spooky at least? Dream date. Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dress cool, really smart, likes good music. And we go to the movies. Boring. You? R wrestling? Like you're going to wrestle or you're going to watch wrestling? We go to see wrestling or... I could... I feel like wrestling is a more of a more of a lewd answer. I don't know if I want to <laughs> say this one. Sure. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl, but they'd have to be like grr. Because I don't even want to date someone who's not grr. So you're going to wrestle this person. Yeah, they'd be super tough and cool. And we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding, okay. And then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. That's actually really sweet. I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer! What? Oh, God. One time I farted in front of the class. <laughs> that's it? What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. Uh, oh, God. One time in junior high, or one time in high school? Let's go with one time in high school. I went to the prom with this guy named Cole. Oh wow, I've been wanting this story for years. And it was awkward, and I had to wear a dress, and I couldn't slow dance, and he was really nice and stuff, I guess. And I tried to kiss him, but somehow I screwed it up and drew blood? You bit him? How bad did you mess up this kiss? I have no idea, but he was bleeding a lot. So I like rushed him to the bathroom to get paper towels. So I'm shoving these paper towels into his mouth. And I overdo it and he starts choking and like fighting back. And I'm like chowing down on candy almonds. From where? I stole them from the tables and shoved them in my dress. 
So I'm like plowing through these almonds, and one gets caught in my throat. Poor Cole has slumped against has like slumped against the bathroom wall. I try to give myself the Heimlich maneuver, and it works, but but I puke all over Cole. Chicken cordon bleu. This is amazing. Right, and then someone walks by and sees Cole dazed and bleeding and choking, and me puking into the sink. So I pull up all the tar so I pull all the paper towels out of Cole's mouth, and for some reason I think to flush them down the toilet, and that makes it overflow. So I grab Cole and pull him out of the bathroom, both of us covered in puke and blood and toilet water, and he ran away and left, and he was my ride. How did you get home? That kid Josh who rode his tractor to prom. So we're slowly driving back to my house, car slowing down and honking. While I'm in the back, crying my eyes out. That sounds uh, pretty terrible, yeah. That was seriously messed up. I love how they turn the music on to listen to it. May, I, I. I have nightmares about it like once a week. I'm gonna have nightmares about it. Can we pass now? Yeah, nobody's gonna top that. You have to come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass, unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the effing hell? You may go? God damn it! Go to hell, teens. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I hate everything right now. Forget it. Let's go. I thought they were going to give us the last pentagram we needed, but I guess not. I'm sure we've all noticed this, but I love how Beast cigarette just hangs out of her mouth. Like, she's not even holding on to it. And plus, she's probably going to get fucking cancer and die, too. Like her mom did. It might be a little messed up for me to say. So, like, ghosts. Ghosts? Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but... Yeah? So, you know how you've been saying you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams. Because, obviously, it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But like, <coughs> excuse me, it's your obligatory burp per episode. Did you ever see my mom? No. I mean, I can't really tell. And I don't think the ghosts were like, people? Like, they're not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like, echoes? Echoes of shit that happened in people that were here? Oh. Trust me, none of the places look like super much fun. Your mom was rad as hell. Too bad to hang out there. <laughs> That's like... I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. Alright, anyway. So the bad news is that we're locked out. By that big-ass gate. Ugh, why make a giant gate in the graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out. And stop what you're probably gonna do. Hmm. Yeah, we'll never know for sure. Alright, well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost. I'm just a driver. Fine. Hang out. I'll be back. Where are you going? Wait. Oh, we're supposed to go this way? Oh, I thought we were going to the right. I mean, traditionally, when, you, when you're trying to... Wait, what the... F okay, maybe we have to jump. Okay, I'm thinking that we have to parkour. Okay, so we gotta... And get a little farther back. Two. Three. There we go. All right. Yeah. 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 There we go. All right. We did it. Did it, B. Can I say anything? I can't say anything but, uh, to her. Okay. Maybe I should... Dude, we better not find the fucking murderer kidnapper man. Oh, so I'm going to freak out, dude. How are we going to stop him? There's no way I'm going to leave B behind. <sighs> Beatrice. Just learn to jump. Not with those scrawny legs, I guess. How do I break that gate open? Hmm, there's gotta be a way to break that gate open. Do we do we punch it a lot? Is there a way to... I don't, I don't see anything that I'm supposed to... do. Uh... I don't know. What am I supposed to do? Maybe I can... Can I jump back over? Yeah, okay, I can. How do we break the gate open? I don't even... 
I've seen nothing here to indicate to indicate that we can break the gate open. Shit. Oh fuck. Wait, do we even we didn't even need to do that. We could have just jumped on those. I don't see anything here. I don't see a single fucking thing. Hmm, there's gotta be a way to break that gate open. I keep pushing like buttons to try and do things. Um Okay, so unfortunately, uh, I'm kind of stuck right now, but um, that's all the time we have for this episode. So if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you stop by later around 7 p.m. and watch the daily for today. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, you comment, and you subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.